Hello, today I'm going to be talking about this invention. Do you know what this is? It's called a golf tee, and it's very important for any person who plays golf. Golf tees are typically used on the first swing of a round when the golf ball has to be hit very far. The tee is stuck into the grass, and the golf ball is balanced on top like this. The tee lifts the ball off the ground and makes it easier for the golfer to hit the ball and make it airborne. Not many people know that this tiny invention that is so often used in golf was invented by an African-American dentist in the 1800s. George Franklin Grant was born in New York in 1847. Before he became an inventor, he attended dental school at Harvard Dental School. At the age of 21, he became only the second African-American to earn a dentistry degree. He first began inventing dental devices, but then his innovative mind overflowed into his personal life. He was an avid golfer, and when George came along, there was no such thing as a golf tee. Golfers would typically pinch a tiny mound of sand and on which to place their golf ball. This was often messy, and it didn't allow the ball to get airborne. Grant patented his invention in 1899, and he shared his idea with fellow golfers and friends until his death in 1910. So if you want to practice using something like this at home, it's kind of hard unless you have an actual golf tee because they are so tiny. But if you would like to try golfing at home, you can make a simple golf club out of household items such as wrapping paper tube, toilet paper tube, or a paper towel tube, and you can hit a ball such as a golf ball or a ping pong ball or even a ball you made out of paper wrapped with tape, and you can try hitting it into a paper cup that you've tipped sideways. You can use that as the target. And no matter where or how you play golf, just be sure to say thank you to George Franklin Grant for his innovative idea that made golf even more fun to play.